Hello and welcome to Lamp and Light Devotion for 5-21-20-24. I'd like to thank you for joining. Today's devotion is titled Christ-like Prayer. The scripture reference is 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16. Who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him but we have the mind of Christ? The prayer of faith, like some plant food, uh, excuse me, the prayer of faith, like some plant rooted in a fruitful soil, draws its virtue from its disposition, which has been brought into conformity with the mind of Christ. Number one, it is subject to the divine will. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. 1 John 5.14 Number 2 It is restrained within the interest of Christ. Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. John 14.13 Number 3 It is instructed in the truth. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. John 15.7 Number four, it is energized by the Spirit, able to do exceedingly abundantly of all, above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Ephesians 3.20 Number five, it is interwoven with love and mercy. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have all against any, that your Father which is in heaven will forgive you. Mark 11.25 Number six, it is accompanied with obedience. Whatever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and we do those things that are pleasing in his sight. 1 John 3.22 Number seven, it is so earnest that it will not accept denial. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Luke 11.19 Number eight, it goes out to look for and to hasten its answer. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James 5.16 This devotion today was by David McIntyre in the writing in the hidden life of prayer. I do thank you for joining us on these Lamp and Light devotions and I do hope you will share them with someone as we help to encourage you in your walk with the Lord. Have a great day.